homeless. I'm a homeless woman. There was a gentleman that reached out to me who said, you do not have to be homeless in Atlanta. You could be homeless in California. You could stay in my backyard. Joking with this bitch, I don't know. I don't know you. You know, this is kind of scary. You actually pulled up. What's up guys, it's your girl Riva and I am back again with another video. Now as you guys can see, I am obviously not in my usual space of recording. Um, but I do want to give you guys a heads up before we get into the video that I am aware of the sound issue. But I did not want that to stop any show because there's stuff that we have to talk about. So we're just going to go ahead and get right into the video. Now let me tell you guys something. I saw this story on none other than the wonderful world of TikTok and I got to tell you this story is crazy. Okay, it is absolutely absurd. Now, there's no way for me to even give you any insight to the story of what happened. We have to just watch it together and I'm going to have to explain as we go. I had no idea about this story, but when I did find out, I did a little bit of research so I have some kind of information to give you guys about everything that took place. There's nothing else I can say. We just have to press play and watch it as we go. Hey y'all, what's good? My name is Haitian Moet. I go by Moet Goddess on another platform. I just wanted to come to you guys to tell you guys my story about my current situation, what I'm going through. Um, I wanted to start off by saying I am homeless. I am a homeless woman. And I'm homeless in a different state across the country. Um, the reason why I'm homeless is because I was bullied and harassed by some trolls on another app. And um, it caused for me to get removed from my living situation. Okay, so for this part of the story, right? She said that she was um, bullied and harassed and it caused for her to get removed from her living situation. So apparently she goes um she's like a streamer right so she goes live on another app i think it's called bigo um if, if th that should be the name of it if not but they're gonna announce it again but she goes live on that app and apparently some trolls ended up finding her home address they found like her credit report like they found out like her her uh, one of her family members phone numbers how they found out this information i have no idea um, it would lead me to believe that maybe it's somebody that she knows that just released this information because I'm not sure how people would just find certain information. I have no idea on the context of that. But regardless, um, her personal information was leaked, her personal address, her, um, you know, the people, I guess, in which she lived with, their phone numbers were released. And so the people who she was living with at the time were basically like, you got to go because we're not going to deal with the drama. So, um, there was a gentleman that reached out to me who said, you do not have to be homeless in Atlanta. You could be homeless in California. I will change your life. Pack up all your stuff, throw out everything, just bring your clothes, and I will change your life. So, I did just that. I drove 35 hours to California. Okay? And... It was it was a it was a false dream. You see how she's speechless? Me too. Okay, me too, sis. Because what are you talking about? What do you mean that you're homeless in one state and somebody asks you to drive thirty five hours and you decide to drive thirty five hours to go meet up with somebody that you do not know and you're quote unquote homeless? What do you mean? As speechless as you are, I am too. Because I'm confused. I'm confused. My life was not changed. Um, and now I'm here stuck in Vegas. I am homeless. And I'm just trying to figure life out. So yeah, I'm going through it right now. Right now I feel like I have no nobody that cares. Nobody cares about me. I feel like it's just me and God. I feel like I'm in a, on a journey by myself. And I'm just trying to figure life out right now. So, I don't know what's going to happen. I just wanted to show you guys my story. I'm homeless 
in Vegas and I'm homeless due to bullying and harassment from trolls okay so say no to bullying say no to trolls that harass people innocent people for no reason say no to that okay but regardless of yes say no to bullying say no to trolls yes that situation of her information being leaked is absolutely absurd okay that's terrible because that's an invasion of privacy literally your home where you live where you're staying like that's obviously something that i would never agree with and i think that's absolutely absurd but i just have so many questions like if you're homeless and you got put out where did you find the finances to be able to fund a 35 hour drive to go meet up with this person that you've never met that you do not personally know like i would think that the funds to fund that trip to go all the way over there would be able to um assist with finding you a couple night stays somewhere locally that you actually live i'm confused i'm very confused um, treat others the way you want to be treated and always keep God first. I'm just going through it all and I just wanted to document my journey um, right now. I'm just trying to figure life out and yeah. So, um, I just hope something good comes out of the situation. I know that God won't give you something that you can't handle, but yeah, I'm homeless. And I would have never thought that I would be coming to this point a few months ago. And with just a few months, this is my journey. This is what I'm going through. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm just going through a lot right now. So I just wanted to go ahead and see if anybody has ever been through similar situations like this. What have you did to correct the situation? And have you ever drove 35 hours by faith? with no address thinking that a man will change your life i can guarantee a lot of women are going to say they never did that before as much as as much as i sit here and hold the whole women accountable i can guarantee that there's not going to be a lot of women out there that you are going to have that agreed with you that they've driven 35 hours on somebody's word that they have not met before that they do not know I can guarantee that. Okay. So maybe hopefully somebody could relate to this. And maybe somebody could give me some advice. Just reach out to me and yeah, I'm homeless in Vegas. So now we're actually going to be hearing from the guy who in which, you know, she said that there was some guy that she drove to. She had no address. She went all the way 35 hours uh, away and he was supposed to change her life. This is the guy in question in which she's speaking about. And he decided to also come into the situation and tell his story. So now we're going to hear from him. What's up, y'all? I'm the gentleman she was talking about in that last video, Haitian Moet, or known as Charlene Jones from Atlanta, Georgia. This girl was homeless with $12 in her account. She lying me, Poppy, I'm finna be homeless. I, I don't got nowhere to go. I say, girl, you can stay in my backyard. Uh, you can come stay in my backyard. You can go lie back there. This girl woke up in the morning with no address and pulled up. Drove all the way across the country. She's pulling up. I still honor my word. I still say, you know what? She came out here. I gave her, bought her a first room hotel stay. $600. She ran up to the car. Got her four more rooms. She ran up to $1,500. Got her food. And when I was live, I let her chill in here. She made thousands of dollars on Cash App. A mother day. She made thousands of dollars on Beagle Live, and she was doing her big ones right here. So whatever she's trying to paint picture, it's not it. Now, okay, the first thing I thought when I saw this first video was I was very confused. Okay, I was already confused. I'm even I was even more confused because this person did not give her any address or any any type of information. He just said the state that she was in, and she drove you know, close, as close as she could to the state that he was in to be able to meet him to do whatever the situation was. Now, I'm not sure if they met on a different app. Like, it, it seemed as though it was this, a situation where he kind of goes live all the time. Maybe she goes live all the time. So they kind of, uh, she kind of saw him, you know, by, by viewing him on social media, but they did not have a personal rapport. So 
this person that's saying that to you, you don't know them from anywhere. He could be crazy. You know, he could have ulterior motives. And the fact that you were just driving so far across the country, it makes me personally feel like she went there looking for a man. Okay, this is not I'm looking for somebody who's going to change my life, somebody who's going to help me. This is giving I'm looking for a man. And then him being there, you know, quote unquote, honoring the fact that she came all the way and, and tried to, you know, give her a space um, to go live from. And again, I'm guessing because maybe it's a popular spot because a lot of people know him on social media. I'm not really sure of the whole entire gist of it, but that's what it seems like. And she went there, was able to go live and garner funds, and then things took a turn. And we also got to remember, this lady is older than me. She's 35 years old. I'm in my 20s. So this girl, she just deleted my comments right now. I'll put it right here. Clearly, I told her she begged to be in my backyard. So now she's deleting comments because she wants to paint a narrative out there. Also, paint this narrative, Moet. Tell the people when I offered you to come inside, when I went outside, I was like, hey, Moet, you hungry? You thirsty? You want some snacks? Oh, yeah, go get me some fruit. Go get me some water. I said, okay, are you cold? Do you want to come stay inside? I got a room for you. She said, okay, I don't want to step over your boundaries. I said, like, no, you good. I go to the store. I'm driving back. She's texting me, oh, I want to be with you. I want to lay with you. I want to. I over here just got a whole room for her all cleaned out to where she can go live and broadcast and not be homeless. But now she want to paint a picture. She was disrespectful. But he knows this lady was disrespectful. Now, this is the thing. I told you guys, obviously she's looking for a man. Okay, that's the only logical. It, it's very illogical still, but that's the only like logical explanation for the situation is the only way that a woman would be driving across the country is that if she sees a potential or something that looks like she can you know, turn it into a situation that can be a relationship. That's the only way that a woman will go, you know, desperate times, desperate measures. That's the only way that a woman would, would be willing to do that. We saw another scenario where a woman was, I believe, homeless and decided to, uh, I think she had children and decided to drive across country uh, to, to fulfill her dream of being like a social media star. And that didn't end up working out for her. Like there's, there's, there's certain situations where we understand why a man's leadership is so important because this stuff that is happening, like like that woman that I told you about before, and even this situation, are things that it just does not make. It, it's very illogical. It's very illogical. Now, this man is saying that he did offer her the fact that she did come all the way over there, that she came to his house and was recording there. He offered her a place um, to stay in, in a room for her. Um, just so that she obviously would not just be outside like for 24 hours. And, um, you know, he asked her if she wanted snacks or anything. He went to the store and, you know, on her, on his way back, she was plotting, right? She was like, as a matter of fact, you could be my man. <laughs> as a matter of fact, I should, I should be the lady of the house and I should move in. Now, why did he even say to her that she could come there, um, um, and he could change her life joking or not? I'm not really sure why he even put himself in that predicament and even said that because again, he doesn't know who he's dealing with, but regardless of that situation, there's no way that as a 35 year old, okay, I just got to be honest. And, um, you know, as an adult, as, as a, as a woman that somebody can just say something to you on social media and you take it for face value and root up your whole life for this person that you do not know. The reason why he was so shocked when she pulled up in the state next to him is because he was not thinking that she's going to literally do that when this man did not, they didn't make a plan. This man didn't give her an address to drive to. There was no like further conversation. She just got up one day, one day and just, you know, the next day and just decided, oh, here I come. Here I am. That's crazy. Because imagine if y'all try to offer someone, a homeless person, a place to stay, and you are the only one at the house, and then they text you that they want to come be with you and lay with you and be all up in you and like, nigga, learn some respect. You older than me, cause cut the act out, cut the social media content out. We get you doing it for Bigo, we get you doing it now for TikTok, but. Now you're just taking my kindness for weakness because I really just tried to help this lady out. 
And the whole app knows it. It was live in front of everybody. Man, it just sucks for having someone to just turn a situation that could have been very nice and chill into a whole, like, baby reindeer. What type of weird shit on over here, like... And I'm chilling with, she over here witnessed the whole thing. I do want to make this very clear. This girl was crashing out on live after I got her hotel room, screaming on the freeway. I want to stay in the backyard. Let me in. Poppy, why did I come out here? Let me in the back. All right. I let her in the back. So this is when we find out the disrespect. So. He pointed to, he said, oh, she was here and witnessed the whole thing. So I'm assuming that the woman who was who walked past the camera just now would have been maybe the woman that he's in a relationship with. So he's saying it's disrespectful that you're saying that you want to, you know, be with me, be into with me, sleep with me when you know that I'm involved with somebody. And you saw this person when you got here. Like, this is something that we're doing out of kindness. And here you are trying to overstep boundaries, knowing that this person who I'm also, you know, living with, is is allowing you into our space like that is absolutely crazy but again this whole situation is crazy you know him asking her to come there eat playing or not or whatever is crazy and then this person actually driving off see that would have been the first red flag the fact that you did not even give this person an address you didn't make a plan and say okay are you coming on this day we're going to arrange this and arrange that and the person just show up that's a huge red flag and again, he said out of the kindness of his heart, because she drove all the way over there, he wanted to, you know, um, help and be of some assistance. I'm not going to lie. I would have just left it where it was. Okay? I would have just left it where, where it was and just said, I could help you for uh, for a night. Here you go. There's a hotel. And that would have just been what it is. Or maybe, let me give you, let me give you uh, how much you spent on gas to get here. Let me give you that so you can go back. Because that, that's a huge red flag. So peep game, y'all. Everybody, everybody on Beagle Live, look at the comments because she's deleting the comments on her TikTok Live. I will not delete no comments in my live. Y'all can say whatever y'all want in the comments right here. And everybody knows this. She ran up hundreds of dollars every night here. And every night here, I told her, Moet, do you want to go get a room? We got the money. No. She don't want to get a room. So this girl will get thousands of dollars cash out, thousands of dollars on Bego, and she don't want to get a room. What's popping, y'all? Part five for the baby reindeer backyard again situation. Let's take it back now. So before we even go into the part five, yes, yeah, she don't want to get a room because she wants the man. It's not really about the assistance. It's not about the help. It's not about, oh, can you take me out of the situation? It's about her trying to um, be woe is me and, and be in a certain situation again to get the man has nothing to do with anything else because obviously she has the funds to be able to figure something out go back home whatever the situation is but she's using that situation to her advantage again so she can stay close in proximity to this person everybody knows when she was cloud chasing a few months ago when she was trying to meet up with tko we all know her clout chasing me to know with every Beagle broadcaster. We all know about her clout chasing. Everybody that watches me understands I've never linked up with no other broadcaster. That ain't me. So, bringing this person to my backyard, not even knowing if it's a man or a woman, respecting this person, everybody knows I was nice and patient all day with him. Gave him a whole game plan to get enough money for the first for the whole month of October. And also, when I offered her to come stay in my backyard, it was for 30 days to September 30th. What does her video say? She's in Vegas. I'm moving to Vegas. So now she's in Vegas acting like she's homeless. So at the end of the day, she was already going to paint this narrative as she's homeless in Vegas after meeting. We all understand I was moving to Vegas. She's in Vegas right now. And for all the people that's coming in, they're probably acting like, oh, is this real? This is storyline clout chasing. No, nah, this is real. This is a real homeless person that I met on Beagle Live. And she lied me at 3 in the morning, said, oh, I've been bullied. I've been harassed. My family's kicking me out. You know what, girl? You can stay in my backyard. Joking with the I don't know. 
I wake up in the morning, the whole app is talking about how she's staying in my backyard. She's on the way. She lines me on the app. She's in a U-Haul truck with mattresses, air mattresses, clothes, dressers. I'm like, what in the baby reindeer? Like, throw all that away. You ain't bringing none of that. And she throws it all away and comes in her car. Okay, so he's saying that, again, he's a broadcaster on a, a certain app. I think he said Bego. She's a broadcaster on Bego. So they have probably certain mutual people in common. They've seen each other go live before, whatever the situation is or you know stuff like that then what happens is is that um you know he made a cheat she messaged him saying hey you know uh, whatever the situation is she's homeless he he makes a joke saying yeah well you know you can just come stay in my backyard just saying something and then she tells her whole live stream like basically that she's moving into this man's backyard so now um you know his followers and her, her followers are now saying to him of what the situation is are now going to hold him to a certain you know caliber based off the fact that that she's already told all these people she gets there then they make some kind of agreement because he's going to be moving right so since he's going to be moving they make some kind of agreement like all right cool you're going to be here you need a place to live stream from i'm going to give you the space to live stream from my backyard you can you know you have that option to be able to do so cool i guess he's taking it because you know she's a social media you know somebody on whatever app and he is as well so he was just going to allow it to be a working situation and it turned into just it spiraling of her now trying to paint this picture that this man you know manipulated her and that all these things again you're 35 years old you're a grown woman you don't know this man from nowhere besides an app you don't know him in real life you don't know his personality nothing you don't even know the living situation this man could have been living all kind of ways you don't know based off of a snippet of what somebody shows on social media but you decide to pick up everything that you have to go live with this man on hopes and dreams and on a whim it had nothing to do with um her trying to get out of a situation it had everything um to do with her trying to get into a relationship then this man says that she had a U-Haul truck full of all her stuff, and he said, you can't bring any of that stuff, and she threw it all away. Are we paying attention here? This is crazy. And I'm thinking the whole time, she's going to pull up on a destination. She's going to find somewhere else to go. So like I said, the whole time she's driving here, after the whole app knows that I offered my backyard, the, the everyone could, could agree. Press a one in the comments if you agree. How much support did Moet get once everyone knew that she was coming to my backyard? Every woman on the app reached out to her. I got Airbnbs. I got hotels. Motels. I got, I got, you could come stay in my house. You could, offers unlimited. I'm talking about unlimited offers. She had every state offering her housing. This is someone that I talked to on some serious stuff, like if you're homeless, Let's give me your ID. We'll, we'll apply you for some homeless thing for the government. Oh, no. What you mean? I can't get my ID. You can't give your ID. Why? So this is someone that don't want help through the government. Getting all the help from. So we all understand that she got all types of support from TT, IG, Big Live messages flooded. I'm in Arizona, Texas, you know, Florida, Colorado. I'm in Vegas. I'm, I'm in Cali. She had a bunch, every state you could think of. But what didn't she do? She refused help from any woman on this motherfucking planet. And again, so all these women are, are reaching out to support her, to show her support. They have Airbnbs. They have housing. They have all these kind of places that she can stay. But she's refusing it all again because all roads lead to this man. It doesn't have anything to do with support. And again, I keep saying it, it has nothing to do with help. He said that she was in the backyard and garnered thousands of dollars from multiple different apps. It's not about the help. It's about forcing your hand and manipulating a situation to force it to be something that you want it to be. Which is absolutely crazy. And those same women who feel bad for her in the comment section, oh, sis, this is terrible. I can't believe this man did that to you. You know, those same women will offer her help and she's refusing it. 
So let's make it make sense. She got all the women feeling bad for her, but she don't want help from none of the women. She don't want help from none of the women. So all the women that's going bad in the comments, she don't want your help. She don't. And all the people that's thinking there's a storyline, this girl really drove to my house, to my backyard, and was going live back there. And with no address. I met her an hour away at a gas station. And the first night I got her a hotel. So, like I said, she drove from Atlanta to California, and... She didn't even drive to my the right city, the right area, the right zip code. She drove by faith into an area. And then I'm like, damn, she's really out here. So I sent her an address an hour away from my house to a to a, at a gas station. I pull up to the gas station. There's a nice-ass hotel right there. I'm like, Let me just go get her this five-star hotel. You, you know what I'm saying? Out of respect, you drove out here. I don't fucking know you. You know, this is kind of scary. You actually pulled up. Um... Yeah. Yeah, that is scary. That is scary. And that's why I said that's that's a red flag. That would have been the first red flag for me. Okay, that's what I, I that's all I would have needed. Which I don't understand, you know, joking or whatever the case is of whatever kind of conversational um rapport that the two of them had from that app. Um, you know, you just don't know who you're dealing with. And it doesn't matter if you see that person go live, it doesn't matter if you see that person streaming, it doesn't matter what the situation is, you know. He he literally said a joke and that person pulled all the way up an hour away. Like that is crazy. that I just I can't wrap my my mind my mind around that situation. It just does not it doesn't make any sense. It literally doesn't. And it and it, and this should be a learning lesson for him as well that you can't even joke with these people. I thought you was gonna pull up to one of your supporter destinations in Texas, Vegas, Atlanta, somewhere in Cali, but you here, so let me just get you this room and I hope you carry on with you day but you know she got the room she ran it up to 650 dollars in room service and she begged and begged to be in my backyard begged now i'm guessing okay again i'm guessing um you know him her going on whatever app it is that they live stream on it put him in a situation where if he did not allow her to go to the backyard, it would have looked a certain way to his viewers as well because of everything that she released on the live stream, right? But the same way that she released whatever information on the live stream is the same way that he was informed of all the opportunities of places that she could have gone and of all the places that she would have been comfortable and fine to go to, she forced her hand to get into this situation. And then try to flip the narrative and make it seem as though she was manipulated, bamboozled. You know, this man is no good because he did this and he did that. But again, you decided to go here with no address, no plan. There was no talking about, you know, how the situation was going to go from A to Z before you decided to pick up and go all the way over there. That's foolish. That's why. And it makes it, 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 it's hard because it's sad for people who are genuinely in certain situations who desperately actually need the help because people are going to be, um, you know, a little bit hesitant to assist people in those situations because they don't know if it's just a gimmick to go viral. They don't know if you're just playing a game. They don't know if you have ulterior motives and you have all the, the, the funds and the money in your bank account and you're crying wolf on social media. I told you guys this story was wild, okay? Did I lie? No, I didn't. I told you guys this story was absolutely wild. I would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I would love to hear you guys' opinions on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.